I see here that you're expecting Asian markets to take a breather now after a lot of the positive drivers such as China reopening and expectations of a less hawkish Fed are priced in. So then how long does the market take that breather and then what would be the next leg? Is it higher or lower? Here on the whole, positive on Asian markets in 2023. But at the same time, if one looks at this skyrocketing rally since late October or early November, then the Hang Seng Index has moved up 50%. Um, MSCI China adjusted for US dollar has moved up about 50 to 60%. It kind of generates the impression that all the hope about positives, about the recovery, in Asian domestic consumption, and even the hopes about a Fed pivot are possibly built into the valuations now. Indeed, um, Asian valuations and most of the Asian component markets are actually back at their long-term averages, some of them even higher than that, which tells us that much of this good news is already factored in. On the other hand, we don't think that the Fed pivot is coming anytime soon. Our economists still believe about 75 basis points of rate hike over the next uh, three to four months or so, reaching a terminal rate of 5.25%. So, um, you know, I think um, after this skyrocketing rally, one should be a bit cautious, um, in uh, particular about the sectors that have moved up the most. Um, even though, um, you know, after a breather or a time correction, uh, the, when the fundamentals fall in place, the the, you know, the the upturn, the rally should resume. 